God says in the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 21, like this. Give unto Caesar what belonged to Caesar, and give unto God what belonged to God. You got it? In other words, God says that give unto man what belongs to man, and give unto God or your creator what belongs to him. My brother, my sister, my friend, we all have two identities. One before man, another one before God. We all carry two identities. You might be a father, you might be a mother to some. You might be a daughter, you might be a son to some. You might be a brother, you might be a sister to some. You might be a boss in your office or an assistant in your office. You may be reporting to people. So we all have an identity before man, before the society, in your nation, in this world. We all have an identity before man. Similarly, there is an identity before God. God makes it very clear. In the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 15, says that to some God gave five talents, to some he gave two talents, and to some he has given one talent. There is none in us without any talents. God says that to every one of us, God has given us talents according to our abilities. And the one who got five, he made another five. God appreciated him. The one who received two, he made another two using that. God appreciated him. The one who received one, he went and buried. He didn't use it at all. The day came, God rebuked him and took away that one talent from him and he didn't give it to the person who had two or who had four, but he gave it to the person who had ten. So God expects us to be productive. God expects us to be useful. Wherever you are, wherever you are, you need to be useful to others. You need to be an asset and not a burden. That's what God says. And in the book of Ephesians, Chapter 4, verse 11, God talks about the kingdom of God. Once you have accepted Lord Jesus as your Savior, once you have taken baptism in Jesus' name and received the Holy Spirit, you become part of the kingdom of God. And in His kingdom, there are positions. That's what we read in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. God says like this, God gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. God is talking about different kinds of ministry. And this is the fivefold ministry. Different kinds of ministry for every one of us. When you begin to follow Christ, God gives these gifts to you. There is none in his kingdom without any gift, without any talent. Every one of us has got something or other. Probably some of us may have two gifts. And some can have even five gifts. Jesus had all these five when he was ministering on the face of the earth. So know what is yours in the church. You see, he has given some apostles. What does the apostle do? They are the people who govern the administration. And some he made them prophets. What does a prophet do? They guide, they warn, 
they receive from the Lord and they inform. And to some evangelists, what does the evangelists do? They gather the people. They bring them to the church. They give them the good news. They tell them there comes eternal death. There comes destruction. Wake up. Receive Jesus and be safe and be sound so that you can walk into heaven. They keep sharing the good news. And some pastors, what does the pastor do? They are like the father of the family. They guard, they care, they nourish the church with what all it takes. Like a father guarding the family, the pastors, they guard the church. And some teachers, what does the teachers do? Teachers, they cover. Teachers, they garner. They bring the best out of you. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, discover what is your gift. You might be an apostle. Then you are supposed to govern. Or you might be a prophet. You are supposed to guide. Or you might be an evangelist. You are supposed to gather. Or you might be a pastor. You are supposed to guard. Or you might be a teacher. You are supposed to garner. You got it? So discover what is your gift. What is your anointing. Discover it. And then develop it. And then deploy it. For the glory of God. My brother. My sister, my friend, we all have two identities, I told you. One before man, another one before God. So be responsible. Be responsible. Stop being careless. Stop being ignorant, negligent. Stop rejecting your call. Kindle it. Kindle it. And bring the best out of you. My brother, my sister, my friend. We all have responsibilities. We all have duties. To carry out, to perform. We all, before man, before God. God expects us to be useful. For others. To be useful everywhere, in your house, in your church, in your community, in the society, in the nation. God expects us to, us to be useful and be a blessing to others. Same is the case in the kingdom of God. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Stop being a burden to someone. And become an asset. You are supposed to be an asset to others. You are supposed to be a blessing to others. And God is counting on you. And in the book of Romans chapter 14 verse 12, God says that every one of us will have to give an account of us to God someday. So no escape. No escape. Don't think that. You can get away. With your life like this, someday we will all have to stand before God and give an account of ourselves. My brother, my sister, my friend, know who you are. Know who you are. Discover yourself in the kingdom of God. Are you an apostle? Are you a prophet? Are you an evangelist? Are you a pastor? Or a teacher sitting idle and sleeping spiritually. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Discover yourself. Develop yourself. Deploy yourself. My brother, my sister, my friend. Please 
share this video and bless others as well. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.